Real quick, guys, I finally have channel memberships up and running. If you want to join the Bazaar Battalion and help support the channel beyond a thumbs up and a sub, hit that join button right below the video to get exclusive channel perks. Consider joining today, and thank you for watching. Now on to the video. What's going on, everybody? This is Star, and welcome back to the channel. Hello there. Without burying the lead, we have lost yet another piece of the Star Wars Battlefront franchise to the sands of time. No! EA quietly removed this game from the App Store, and I probably wouldn't have noticed if my channel didn't revolve around this stuff, because there wasn't a statement or anything about it that I could find. Don't worry, we still have access to EA's current online Star Wars titles, namely Squadrons, Battlefront 2015, and Battlefront 2. But we've just lost the tie-in Battlefront Companion app, and it's got me thinking about how much longer we actually have to play these games online. Suddenly I'm afraid. I was just looking at this in the App Store a few months ago, but now it's gone. You can't download it anymore, and even the web browser version on EA's website doesn't work, which tells me that it's been completely shut down. In case you hadn't heard of it, the Companion app was released alongside the first Battlefront game. It was a mobile app that linked to the player's EA account, and it let you play a base defense minigame to earn credits. These credits would transfer over to your copy of Battlefront 2015 and let you unlock hut contracts and cosmetics. It was a great way to grind if you couldn't get in a full game of Walker Assault. We can still play the Battlefront games online for now, probably will for at least another year. But now that the Companion app is gone, I can't help but wonder, when will we lose those online features? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Nothing lasts forever. Video game publishers and developers will periodically shut down servers for their online games. It's a part of the cycle. Older games stop getting played, and servers cost money to maintain. When these servers go, the online modes do too, so all that will be left is any single-player campaign or offline content the game might have. Luckily for us, both the Battlefronts and Squadrons have a pretty decent library of offline modes. 2015 has the skirmish mode with offline walker and starfighter assaults, while Battlefront 2 has offline instant action and the campaign. Squadrons also has a campaign and offline fleet battles, so even when the servers for these games inevitably shut down, we can still come back and enjoy the gameplay, albeit against bots. Hello, on average, servers have a lifespan of about 7 to 10 years, give or take a few. So we're definitely getting close to that point of no return for at least Battlefront 1. But the scary thing is, it can feel like nothing is safe. EA is set to shut down servers for a couple more games before the end of the year. And just recently, on November 6th, they shut down the servers for FIFA 18, 19, 20, and 21. What? To be fair, EA's partnership with the FIFA organization is over, so they're rebranding their football games into the FC brand, and they absolutely want players on this new game, so I can understand shutting down the FIFA titles from that perspective. But still, if a game that released in 2020 just lost online services, then what's to stop them from shutting down something as old as Battlefront? It's already kind of begun, with EA ending support for Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5, and Star Wars Battlefront 2 on Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. This only affects PC players, and these versions of Windows are way outdated at this point, so it's not something that comes as a shock really, but it does mean we're quickly shifting into the next era, and games like Battlefront and its sequel will quickly be considered outdated. Take a seat. If there isn't an active player base, and if the games aren't making any money, then there's not much reason to keep the servers live. Battlefront 2015 and maybe even Squadrons are getting to that point where the online community just is not strong enough to warrant keeping the servers running for much longer. Steam charts aren't everything, it's just one platform on one launcher, but Battlefront 2015 peaks at just around 40 players these days. Squadrons does little better at just over 100 on any given day. There's definitely more on console, but how many? It can't be over a couple thousand, right? Battlefront 2, being the most popular of these three titles, is probably safe for another couple of years. I've always said that I would be concerned about Battlefront 2015 before I worry about the sequel, but now we're at that point where I'm a little concerned for 2015, and losing the companion app is a big part of that. It feels like a piece of the first game is gone now. Here, yeah, but it isn't. As an added punch to the gut, now with the app gone, a certain challenge can't be completed in 2015. The diorama is an ongoing goal, and according to the in-game tip, it's the ultimate symbol of mastery. 
I never finished it. We do not grant you the rank of master. Doing challenges would unlock pieces of the diorama, and by collecting all of them, you would get the completed scene. If you've already finished this thing, then good on you, because now I and everybody else can no longer finish it. The Rebel Twi'lek is the piece that you get for completing the Rebel campaign in the companion app, but now with the app gone, we can't get this piece, meaning the diorama will be forever incomplete. It's not really a big deal since it's purely for fun and cosmetic, but again, it's like a piece of the game is just missing. Now, I don't want this video to be all doom and gloom. We still have plenty of Star Wars games to look forward to. In fact, I made a video going over all of them. You can check it out here. And we still have our battlefronts and squadrons for the time being, but it is a sad day for the Battlefront franchise. Here's to hoping that maybe one day we'll get the third one. Not likely. But that's all from me for today, guys. It's a shorter one today. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And don't forget to check out channel memberships. We've got a couple of different tiers for you to choose from. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.